Oh, um, this is the book, um, On a Pale Horse by Pierce Anthony. Um, it's basically about a guy named Zane who has to, he finds an amulet and becomes deaf, and basically the whole book is him dealing with that and trying to stop his pop up. Um, it was a pretty good book, so read it. <laughs> okay, this is us at the library again. And this is the book, In the Force of the Night, by Amulet Artwater Rhodes. And it's about a vampire who's like 300 years old, and she's like alone, and she has to deal with her problems from her past, and stuff like that. It's a really good book, and it's short, so you can read it really quick, and so you should all read it. And Okay, so um, I don't have my book with me, but the book I want to talk about is Hawks Harbor. Uh, I have read it since last summer, so I don't remember that much about it, but it was a really good book that um, I could barely put down. I read it in one week. Um, let's see. It's about this young man who ran away with his best friend, um, and they became basically pirates. They transported goods for people, and they ended up coming across an island that um, was really old, and people didn't do much in it. Uh, he ended up uh, trying to uncover treasure, and instead he found a coffin, basically. And inside the coffin was a vampire. Um, and after that, he gets stuck on the island as the vampire slave. Throughout the book, it's about how he gets put in an insane asylum and then comes out, and it's all about him being depressed and emo. But it's really good. You should read it. All right, so uh, *Raisin in the Sun* is a book or a play by Lorraine Hansberry, and um, it's about the struggles of an African American family um, in uh, the the 1950s, I believe it is, and. Um, it's it's it tells about how uh, the family struggles with different uh, ideas during the uh, civil rights movements and how they deal with things like assimilation and moving into uh, predominantly white communities and um, it's it's a very relevant play for uh, today's readers um, because it reflects on the struggles that they had uh, way back then and it shows the progress that we've made as a community. I'm here to talk about the book Deadline by Chris Crutcher. It is a book that Chris Crutcher wrote that has a kid that can only live a year because he has a terminal disease and he can't really be cured. So he does all the things that he's ever wanted to do, date the girl that he ever that he wanted to go out with and do all these amazing things and I thought it was a really good book, so you should go read it. Um, I'm here to recommend a book. It's called the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Um, it's about um, three friends and having an adventure through life or death, and they and they they're at a wizardry school of wizards and witches, whatever. And um, they um, one of the main character of those stories named Harry Potter. And he and this other kid, uh, and they have a have a competition through uh, different um, schools, and they and they choose different people through each out of Hogwarts, and they chose two by accident, and they have to and. They have to go through obstacles and mazes, and until and the winner is and the winner gets a cup called the Goblet of Fire. So I hope you read this. Okay, so I read this book, Sweet Blood, by Pete Hotman, and it's about this girl who um, she's convinced that she's a vampire because she has diabetes and she thinks that the earlier people in time when they had diabetes 
they were supposed to be vampires because a lot of symptoms displayed stuff that like were myths of vampirism and um so she basically is like obsessed with vampires she thinks she's a vampire and it talks about like her school life and stuff and I recommend this to people who like vampires and um yeah that's it hey. um my name is Chelsea and I'm gonna suggest this book called Heartbreak and Roses it's a very good book and I guess if you've been through a bad relationship or a breakup it would be a really good book because it's all about troubled love and bad situations that happened in like, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend relationships. And it's just, a, it has some really cute stories and some, you know, has some really nice lessons. And it's just a really nice book to read. And it's a bunch of short stories and fast to read and very nice to read. And if you're like me and you don't like to read like a big novel, you just like to read short stories or a short book, this would be a great book to pick. So, pick this book, Heartbreak and Roses. The book I recommend is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. It's a really good book about a girl who used to live in Phoenix, Arizona with her mother, but moves to Forks, Washington with her father and meets a whole bunch of these crazy characters. There's, it's basically a love story with a whole bunch of vampires. It's Bella, who is the girl who moves with her friend, well, let's more in the second book. With her friend, who she soon likes, is Edward, who ends up being a vampire. And it's just a whole crazy story. It has three parts right now that are out. I think there's a fourth book coming out. Um, it's Twilight, New Moon, and Eclipse by Stephanie Mo Meyer. So you might want to check them out. It's a really good book. Um, hi. Um, the book I read was called Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. And it's about three characters that are in... They're teenage kids, one of them's a girl, and two of them are guys. I don't remember the names, but they were in an institute because one of them, or all of them, had tried to hurt themselves, and it's a good book because it's in poetry form, and it's just really cool to read. Get retarded.